Hi everyone, my name is Jeannie, and I'll be joined today by my colleague Taylor. We are both product managers on the Google Home team. Our homes play an important role in our lives. We spend over 60% of our time at home, and over 30% of expenses are related to our home. We also spend over four hours a day on our phones ordering food, booking vacation rentals, and managing our busy lives. However, our digital experiences still aren't well integrated with the physical devices in our home. People tell us they want their devices to work together smoothly, like helping them shift between the activities at home, such as waking up for work or relaxing at night. And they want them to work with the apps they use every day. Developers tell us they want to create these seamless experiences, but developing for the smart home is too hard. Building for the smart home means integrations with many device makers, operating hubs and matter fabrics, and operating automation engines driven by intelligent signals. With that much effort required to build an experience, it's no surprise that we haven't realized the vision of the seamless smart home. To make developing for the smart home easier, we re-envision Google Home as a platform for all developers, not just those who build smart home devices, to make building delightful experiences in their own apps simple and easy using the capabilities of the Google Home. As part of this effort, we are excited to announce the Home APIs to help app and smart home developers bridge digital interactions and physical devices to deliver the next generation of delightful experiences. With the Home APIs, you can focus on building amazing experiences for your users, and Google provides the rest. Access to over 600 million devices with a single integration, Google's hub and matter infrastructure, and an automations engine powered by Google Intelligence, all available across both Android and iOS. ADT, LG, Yale, Eve, and Pixel phones are just some of the developers that are using the Home APIs to unlock new experiences in their apps. These APIs are powered by tens of millions of Nest speakers, displays, and Wi-Fi routers, which act as hubs for Google Home. And to ensure that as many users as possible can enjoy a seamless smart home, we're making the runtime that powers our Nest hubs available to select partners as well. This will begin rolling out later this year to LG TVs and Android TV OS devices. Developers can join the waitlist for access to our developer preview of the Home APIs starting today. We're expanding access on a rolling basis, and the first apps built on the Home APIs will begin launching to the Play Store and App Store starting this fall. Now, Taylor will tell you more about how you can use these APIs to build amazing experiences for your users. Thanks so much, Jeannie. Whether you build an app specifically for smart home devices or build apps that have nothing to do with the smart home at all, like a fitness app or a delivery app, the Home APIs will let you bridge your app experiences with the physical devices in your users' homes. The initial version of the Home APIs will include the commissioning API to enable any app to commission Matter devices without having to run their own Matter fabric. The device and structure APIs that give developers access to over 600 million devices with a single integration. And finally, the automation API that allows developers to create automations in their own app using Google Home's automation engine and intelligent signals. With the Home APIs, you can both bring your own devices and access hundreds of millions of devices connected to Google Home. This includes current and future Matter devices connected to hubs for Google Home, devices connected to Google Home via the cloud-based Works with Google Home APIs, and devices that Google manufactures, such as the Nest Learning Thermostat. And the Home APIs have been designed with privacy in mind from the very beginning, leveraging industry standard best practices. Users are always in control and need to explicitly grant access to their structure and smart home devices before an app can access them. And they can easily revoke access at any time from the Google Home app on their mobile device or the web. All of the Home APIs are cross-platform, so you can offer the same experience to both your Android and iOS users. On Android, we've deeply integrated the commissioning APIs into the FastPair experience for easy setup, and all of the APIs are made available to Kotlin developers via the Google Play services, so your app size remains small. On iOS, we provide a Swift library to easily add the Home APIs to your app. The first API I want to tell you about is the commissioning API. 
With the commissioning API, any app can now commission Matter devices, even if you don't run your own hubs or Matter Fabric. And because any device commissioned via these APIs is connected to Google Home, the device can be used in the Google Home app, for voice control via Assistant, or in any other app built on the Home APIs. When you adopt the commissioning API, Google provides all of the user experience for scanning a barcode, connecting a device to Wi-Fi, putting it in a room, and giving it a name. We are using this Matter commissioning experience in the Google Home app, so as we make improvements to our own app, your app will reflect them as well. Now let's talk about the Device and Structure APIs. The Device and Structure APIs allow an app to control and manage the devices connected to Google Home, whether the user is at home or on the go. These APIs could be used to build a complex app to manage any aspect of the smart home or simply access a single device from your app to bridge digital interactions with the physical world. With the Device API, a developer can get a list of devices, send control commands to devices, read device state, or manage device properties, such as the name. With the Structure API, a developer can get access to a list of the rooms in a structure, add and delete rooms, change which devices are in a room, and change the name of a room. These APIs simplify development by providing all of the foundational building blocks needed to create a smart home experience. They also help the smart home feel more seamless. For example, changes like moving a smart plug from the kitchen to the living room are automatically synced across every app using the home APIs. So your user no longer needs to manually make this change across multiple apps. Now, I'm really excited to show you how some of our early partners are using these APIs to build experiences in their own apps. Energy partners like Eve are using the home APIs to bring the Eve experience to Android for the first time ever and help users save money on their energy bill. With the Eve app on Android, a user can set up and control an Eve Energy Matter plug, view their energy usage history, and when the temperature drops at night, the blinds will automatically lower to save energy. To enable these experiences, Eve is using the Home APIs to set up their Matter devices on the Google Home Fabric and control and read device state from both standard and custom Matter clusters. The Home APIs can also be used to promote health and well-being. The Google Pixel team is exploring opportunities to use the Home APIs to expand Pixel's bedtime mode feature beyond digital well-being into physical well-being as well. When bedtime mode silences notifications on your phone and dims your screen, it can also prepare your home for you to go to sleep by dimming the bedroom lights, lowering the shades, and even locking the front door. As part of this exploration, the Pixel team is using the device and structure APIs to control the user's lights, shades, and other devices. Now let's talk about the last and most advanced API, the Automation API. With this API, developers can create automations using over 100 signals and commands that run on the Google Home Automation Engine. So whether you simply want to offer your customers a one-click affordance to enable a helpful action, or build out a robust creation tool to let your users build any automation they can imagine, you no longer have to operate a real-time automation engine, build complex conditional logic, or capture intelligent signals from the home. With the Automation API, developers can access device signals from the home, such as occupancy events from motion sensors, mode changes from appliances, or media events from a smart TV. This API also gives developers access to Google's industry-leading intelligence signals, like Home and Away, which fuses together signals from devices across the home to create a more accurate presence detection. Security partners like Yale are using the Home APIs to build new convenience and safety features for users. Yale users will be able to configure useful automations, such as turning on the foyer lights when you unlock the door, directly in the Yale app on Android and iOS. To enable these seamless experiences to enter the home, Yale is using the Automation API to create automations to connect the lock and the lights. A significant step towards a more seamless smart home was our partnership with ADT that we launched in 2022, enabling users to integrate their Nest cameras and doorbells with ADT's leading security solutions. Building on this foundation, we are excited to announce that ADT will soon introduce an innovative new service called Trusted Neighbor. 
trusted neighbor will leverage Google Home Intelligence signals in a secure way to reimagine what it means to give a trusted neighbor a key to your home. Trusted neighbor will enable ADT users to grant secure, temporary access to their homes to a neighbor, friend, or helper. When granted access, the neighbor could accept deliveries, handle emergencies, water plants, or help with an unexpected plumbing issue on behalf of the ADT user while they're away from the home. With trusted neighbor, when an authorized person approaches the front door, ADT verifies multiple distinct signals. One such verification is confirming if an individual is a familiar face, a signal from the Nest doorbell that's delivered via the home APIs. After comprehensive verification, trusted neighbor then grants the person secure, immediate access to the ADT user's home. We're excited to continue to partner with and support ADT as they begin piloting trusted neighbor in select markets before rolling it out more broadly. These are just a few of the examples our partners are working on, but the opportunities for what the home APIs can enable are endless. For example, a meditation app could dim the lights to create a calm environment when the meditation starts. A workout app could keep you cool while you're burning calories by turning on the fan before you begin working out. A vacation rental app could make sure that the lights are on and the temperature is just right when a guest arrives. Or a food delivery app could turn on the front porch lights before the driver arrives so you never miss a delivery again. With the Home API, now any developer can bridge digital experiences and physical devices. Now that I've introduced you to the Home APIs, I want to demonstrate for you how they can create a seamless experience in the home. Take, for example, my friend Alice. Before the Home APIs, Alice had several smart devices, but they didn't work very well together. She set timers, fumbled with apps, and never really felt like her home was working for her. Now, with the Home APIs, Alice's devices work as one, with personalized experiences that make her home feel seamless and more useful. Let's follow her on a typical evening after work. Alice drives home from work, listening to her favorite podcast. When she pulls her Volvo into the driveway, the path lights and her front porch lights turn on automatically. Alice walks up to her front door and uses her fingerprint to unlock her car front door lock. Since it's after sunset, the lights turn on, the thermostat turns off eco mode, and the speaker says, welcome home, Alice. After getting settled, Alice puts a pizza in the oven and sits down to watch TV. When her Chromecast starts, her Nanoly 40 panels automatically activate to create a more immersive TV experience. When her GE oven is done cooking her pizza, the lights in the living room blink, and her smart speaker broadcasts, your pizza is ready. While she is eating her pizza in the kitchen, her Tuya motion sensor detects that the living room is no longer occupied, and her robot vacuum starts to clean the space. After Alice finishes her pizza, she gets ready for bed. As she crawls into bed, she taps her Wiz Hero light. Since it's after 10 p.m., the shades close, the front door locks, and the lights in the room go off. After a few minutes, Alice can't fall asleep. So she says, hey Google, I can't sleep. Her smart speaker begins to play ocean wave sounds, her sink fan speed switch is turned on, and the sink indoor plug turns on the bedside humidifier. Alice smiles as she drifts off to sleep. Her smart home finally works the way she always imagined it could. I hope Alice's story inspired you to dream about the potential you could unlock for your users using the Home APIs. And now, I'll pass it back to Jeannie, who will tell you about how hubs for Google Home can simplify smart home development and create an amazing experience for your users. Thanks, Taylor. A hub for Google Home is a device in users' homes required to enable remote access and fully local control of their Matter devices. We have spent the last five years building out hub capabilities and getting them into users' homes, which now allows us to provide the best Matter experience. Today, there are tens of millions of Nest speakers, displays, and Wi-Fi routers in our users' homes. And now, by building with the Home APIs, you too can leverage this entire network of hubs and their capabilities. Later this year, we're updating our Google Home app to utilize these new hub capabilities. And in our early testing controlling matter lights and switches, it feels very snappy, operating up to three times faster than before. 
And since the Home app is using the same Home APIs that take advantage of Hub capabilities, developers can see faster and more responsive matter control in their own apps as well. In addition to the existing Nest devices, we will continue expanding the Google Home Hub footprint so that all users can enjoy the benefits it provides. This year, Android TV OS devices will also be enabled as hubs for Google Home, including TVs and Chromecasts with Google TV. This capability will roll out starting later this year to Chromecast with Google TV and to all Google TV devices on Android 14 or higher. All of these hubs are powered by the Home Runtime, which we are making available to select partners as well. The Home Runtime enables your hardware product to become a hub for Google Home and enables your product to provide a great smart home experience for users. At CES earlier this year, LG announced a collaboration with Google to make LG and ThinQ products work more seamlessly with Google Home. With this partnership, millions of LG TVs will use the Home Runtime to become hubs for Google Home. In addition, users will be able to control the devices connected to Google Home via new experiences on their LG TV or ThinQ mobile app. For example, you can use your ThinQ mobile app to connect to any light bulb build for the matter standard, and then when you sit down to watch TV, you can use the ThinQ app or the Home Hub on your LG TV to seamlessly turn off the lights before starting your movie. These features will start rolling out to new LG TVs and the ThinQ app in the fall. To wrap up, let's summarize what we discussed today. As Taylor shared, the Home APIs simplify smart home development. With a single integration, developers get access to over 600 million devices, Google's network of hubs, and Google's automations and intelligence. And all of this will be available on Android and iOS. With Home APIs, you can build experiences that make everyday life easier, safer, and more delightful. We're not just talking about smart home companies. We also see exciting opportunities for developers in fitness, food delivery, home rental, health and well-being, and more. All of these amazing experiences we shared with you today are built on the foundation of tens of millions of hubs for Google Home, including Nest Hubs, Android TVs, and LG TVs, all powered by the home runtime. And starting today, we invite all developers, whether you develop for smart home or not, to join the waitlist for access to the home APIs or to integrate the home runtime into your devices. We're expanding access on a rolling basis, and the first apps built on the home APIs will begin launching to the Play Store and App Store starting this fall. To sign up, visit the Google Home Developer Center. There is so much more to come on this journey toward enabling all app developers to more easily build for the home. We are so excited about what our partners are going to build using the home APIs, and we can't wait to see what ideas you come with. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of Google I.O.